you give a lot of people hope and a lot of people look up to you millions of people look up to you uh, if we think about young people in high school maybe in college um, what advice would you give to them about if they want to try to do something big in this world they want to really have a big positive impact what advice would you give them about their career maybe about life in general try to be useful um, you know, do things that are useful to your fellow human beings to the world it's very hard to be useful um, very hard um, you know are, are you contributing more than you consume you know like uh, to try to have a positive net contribution to society um, I think that's the thing to aim for you know not, not to try to be sort of a leader for just for the sake of being a leader or whatever um, a lot of time people who, who you, the, 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 a lot of time the, the people you want as leaders are, are the people who don't want to be leaders <laughs> if you can live a, a useful life that is a good life a life worth having lived um, you know, and I, like I said, I would, I would, I would just encourage people to uh, use the, the mental tools of physics and apply them broadly in life. They are the best tools. When you think about education and self-education, what do you recommend for, in terms of learning about how you can become useful, as you mentioned, how you can have the most positive impact? But I, I'd encourage people to read a lot of books. Just read, like I mean. Th- Basically, try to ingest as much information as you can, uh, and try to also just develop a good general knowledge. Um, so, so you at least have like a rough lay of the land of the the knowledge landscape. Um, like, try to learn a little bit about a lot of things, because um, you might not know what you're really interested. In. How would you know what you're really interested in if you at least aren't like doing it peripheral explor- exploration of broadly of of the knowledge landscape and, and you know, talk to people from different walks of life and different uh, industries and professions and skills and occupations like just try you know learn as much as possible man search for meaning <laughs> isn't the whole thing a search for meaning Is... yeah what's the meaning of life and all you know but just generally like I said I would, I would encourage people to read broadly um, in many different subject areas, um, and 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 then try to find something where there's an overlap of your talents and and what you're interested in. So people may may, may be good at something, but or they may have sk- skill at a particular thing, but they don't like doing it. Mm-hmm. Um, so you want to try to find this thing where you ha- your that's a good a good uh, combination of of your of the things that you're inherently good at, but you also like doing. Well, you got to learn about things somehow. So re- reading a, a, a broad range, it's just really re- read it. You know, at one point when I was a kid, I, I kind of I read through the encyclopedia. Uh, so that was pretty helpful. Um, and uh, there were also things I didn't even know existed. Well, lots, obviously. And it's like as broad as it gets. Encyclopedias were digestible, I think. <laughs> uh, you know, whatever, 40 years ago. Um, so... Um, you know, re- maybe read through the, the the condensed version of the Encyclopedia Britannica. I'd recommend that. Um, you can always like skip subjects or you, you read a few paragraphs and you, you know you're not interested. Just jump to the next one. But I, I, you know, I put a lot of stock and certainly have a lot of respect for someone who puts in an honest day's work uh, to do useful things. And and just generally to have like a, not a zero sum mindset um, or, or a, you know, like have have more of a grow the pie mindset like the if, if you sort of say like when when we see people like perhaps um including some very smart people kind of t- uh, taking an attitude of uh, like, like 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 doing things that seem like morally questionable it's often because they have at, at a base sort of axiomatic level a zero-sum mindset um and and they without realizing it they don't realize they have a, a zero a zero-sum mindset or, or at least that they don't realize it consciously um, and so if, if you have a zero-sum mindset then the only way to get ahead is by taking things from others uh, if, if it's like if, 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 if the if the pie is fixed then the only way to have more pie is to take someone else's pie but but this is false like obviously the pie has grown dramatically over time the economic pie um, so 
the rea- in reality, you can have the <laughs> so overuse this analogy. You can have a lot of you can have there's a lot of pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pie, pie is not fixed. Yes. Um, uh, so you, you really want to make sure you don't you're not operating um, without realizing it from a zero sum mindset. Where, where the only way to get ahead is to take things from others, then that's going to result in you t- trying to take things from others, which is not not good. It's much better to work on uh, add, adding to the economic pie. Maybe, you know, so uh, you know, cre- creating, like I said, cre- creating more than you consume, uh, doing more than you, yeah. Um, so, so that that's a big deal. Um, I think there's like a, you know a fair number of people in in finance that. Uh, do have a bit of a zero sum mindset 